there, there was a moment about eight years ago when I, when I first decided to use resin as an art material. I was just looking for, the, for that idea of materials sort of having meaning. It wasn't even transparent anymore. Now you can see it's all shiny. You can see right through it. It's come up really nicely. I like all the colours and the depth of the, the transparent parts. Happy with that? Looks good. This is the one that I poured in the studio the other day with the sort of copper effect. Just out this way, out here. Well, at the moment, I'm making these objects from resin. It's sort of, generally they're functional. Like this is a vase, I've made some other things, platters and stuff, but they're... I'm playing, playing around with that notion of something falling somewhere between art and a functional object. I've been making art for, for years, and I've been working with resin for quite a few years now too. I've got a lot of history with resin as a surfer. It's the material that surfboards are made from. I'm, a, I'm an enthusiastic uh, collector of cultural artefacts, surfboards especially. And the aesthetic, that, the aesthetic of those, the, the shiny surfaces and the, the particular patterns and shapes are something that feed heavily into my artistic practice. I really like the way the surface of that's come up. It's changed the character of it. So the subtle sort of colours coming, coming through. Looks good. Hey. Hi. Yeah, that one down there. Can I have a yeah? Sure.